What is going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 10th C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a function that uses parameters. Now a parameter is quite simply additional information that that function needs in order to work. So let me give you guys a quick example of this. Say you made a function to calculate the age of someone, how old they were. Well some additional information you would need before you can calculate that is what year were they born and once you have this information you can calculate their age so let's go ahead and now that we understand why a function would need additional information let's go ahead and create a simple and uh, excuse me a simple function to use additional information so let's go ahead and create a function that just prints out Bucky's favorite number is blank um, we might say Bucky's favorite number is 20 Bucky's favorite number is 68 Bucky's favorite number is 99 well since we don't know what my favorite number is yet we're just gonna go ahead and put a variable in place for that number so since this isn't going to be making any calculations really we can just go ahead and use void because that means return nothing so name your function anything you want I'm just gonna name mine print crap since that's all it's gonna do print crap out on the screen and before we just added these empty parentheses with nothing in between them and then we coded the body right here well whenever we use a parameter you actually put that information right in your parentheses and check this out you know how I said we didn't know what that number is yet and that's the additional information that we need well since we don't know what it is yet we just go ahead and we set it equal to a variable and since this is an integer we go ahead and see it equal to the variable int x uh, you can name your variable anything you want but I'm gonna name on x because it's really simple easy to work with so now we can go ahead and we can add the body of this function and all we're going to do in this function is print out on the screen Bucky's favorite number is did I spell everything wrong yep yep good to go Bucky's favorite number is X and then just go ahead and end that line and now when our function runs it's going to run something like this if we say that our favorite number is 20 it's going to say Bucky's favorite number is 20 if we say that our favorite number is 10 Bucky's favorite number is 10 so we can run this function a bunch of times and give it a different piece of information each time and it's gonna work so let's go ahead and remember in order to use a function in your main you just go ahead and you type the function name and then you add your parentheses and your semicolon at the end but whenever your function needs an additional piece of information you need to give it that information inside the parentheses so we know from making our function that it needs one integer in order to work so let's go ahead and in, inside these parentheses give it one integer 20 so now what it's going to do is well let me go ahead and run this and show it to you guys Bucky's favorite number is 20 alright so what happened is this we said alright C++ program we want to use this print crap method well it said alright in order to use this method I'm gonna need one integer so we gave it the integer 20 so then whenever in this function it came across the variable X it just substituted 20 for that so whenever you're making parameters you first need to list what type of data and also a variable name so then whenever we give it that variable it substitute that variable for X later on in the program so for example let's give it one more example like 854 well now we run it and it says Bucky's favorite number is 854 and that's the beauty of parameters and functions it doesn't need to be the same every time so that's why you can use variables so again what we did is we created a function and it needed an additional piece of information which was an integer and since it didn't know the value yet it just went ahead and it set it equal to a variable then later on in the body whenever it came across that variable it knew whatever value you told it to substitute for x that's what value is substituted for x so we can run this a hundred times with a hundred different values if we want it's going to substitute it for x each time and use that information to plug it in so that's the basics of how you use functions with parameter again whenever you're creating a parameter use the data type and a variable name and whenever you're using the function don't forget to pass in 
or give it whatever information it needs. So that's pretty cool, simple enough, we understand that. But in the next tutorial, what I'm going to be teaching you guys is how to use functions that use multiple parameters. What if a function needs more than one piece of information in order to work? Well, I'm going to show you guys how to do that too, and it's a little different than this, so you definitely want to watch that. So once you understand this and understand the basics behind functions and parameters, you're ready to move on to the next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.